Mr. Speaker, the U.S. election has cast a dark shadow for many across North America. Donald Trump ran a campaign based on, based on hate and blame and misogyny and xenophobia. He threatened the forcible deportation of millions and has mused about a national registry for Muslims. In Canada, we aren't immune because we've seen a rise in hate attacks against synagogues and mosques. Mm -hmm. Just last week, I spoke to a number of people in the Muslim community, and there is a deep worry that these forces of division will drive deeper wedges within our national fabric. But they also told me that they're hopeful because in difficult times, you see what people are made of, and Canadians will rise above the politics of fear and division and paranoia. Just just as I know many of our American cousins will rise to the better angels of their nature. So how do we do this? It's about getting active in our community. It's about standing up. It's about speaking out. It's about telling our neighbours that we've got their back because the politics of community will beat the politics of fear any day. Yeah.